कृष्ण पृष्ठायाबुतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी ते भक्ति जैसे प्ले जाए नमस्ते सरस्वती देवी गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेषा शून्यवादी पाश्चात्या दिशतारिणे I'm 
वन चंद्र राधा वृंदावन चंद्र राधे श्रीनिवासा गोविंदा श्री वेंकटेशा गोविंदा 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 जया जया प्रभु का संकीर्तन की अनंत कोटि वैष्णव वृंद की श्रील प्रभुपाद की सौंड ओम ज्ञान तिरंद से ज्ञानांजन शलाकया चक्षु वन्मील ये नस्म श्री गुरव नम श्री चैतन्य मनोवीष्ट स्थापित ये नूतले स्वयं कदाख्यम ददा स्वदाक वंदेहम श्री गुरु श्रीयुत पदकमल श्री गुरून वैष्णवांश श्री रूपम साग्र जा सह गण रघुनाथ तम सजीव साइत सवदूत पिजना सहित कृष्ण चैतन्यदेव श्रीराधाकृष्णपादा सह गण ललिता श्री विशाखान्ता नमा ओं विष्णुपदा कृष्ण पृष्ठा भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदस्वामीना नमस्ते सारस्वते देवे गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पाश्चातिणे वाछाकलपतरुभ्य कृपा सिंधुभ्य पतिता पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्रीअद्वैत गदाधर श्रीवासादी गौर भक्त वृंद हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय नारायण नमस्कृत नरम चरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जय मुदीर ये नष्ट प्राएद्रेशु नि भागवत सेवया भगवतुत्तम श्लोक भक्तिर्भवते नैष्टी कृष्णा वासुदेवाय देवकी नंदनाय चंदगोपकुमराय गोविंदय नमो नम हरे कृष्ण Today many devotees have come on time. Very good. Yeah, I'm just eating in advance. Really? <laughs> 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 <laughs>
हमें टुडे आई वॉन्ट टू हाईलाइट ऑन वन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एस्पेक्ट ऑफ स्पिरिचुअल लाइफ समटाइम्स इट इज ऑब्जर्वड दट certain devotees have a double standard what is double standard when when they come to you know temple when they come to council meetings and when they come for spiritual programs they can play a very spiritual role and uh, when they go to school or college or in their real life they show another type of color there is a creature called as chameleon you know chameleon chameleon when it is on the tree it will be brown when it is in the grass it will be green so why is it so because nobody can recognize that you know there is a creature there it has ability to change its color similarly one time one of the trainers of children uh, one mata ji was telling when sometimes even sanyasis or senior brahmacharis talk to the children of devotees and the children speak like very spiritual persons you know they were tilak they were devotee attire and everything and they speak like a devotee they sing like a devotee and they, everything they do but sometimes in the when they go to the school or eventually to the college they are with their materialistic friends they have different type of behavior huh? they have materialistic behavior and sometimes to the point of even degraded activities and all so why does such a thing happen just like chitraketu if you see in the presence of angiramuni and uh, i mean angiramuni he was very respectful huh? very polite and you know he was well behaved and everything but then you know internally he had made up his mind to not listen to any spiritual instructions because he had one adamant desire in his mind what was it to have a child hmm? similarly sometimes the children and they may grow up in a devotee family or even counselees in a counselor counselee group also they may come because they get some social uh, you know connectivity and they get some kind of swargiya rasa we call it huh? swargiya rasa is that emotional support they get you know they get prasad you know they have somebody to lean on whenever they have difficulty they come hmm? but in their real life they have another color which is a which is called as gramya buddhi we call it gramya buddhi means materialistic mindset huh? so and that materialistic mindset can come out in many ugly ways uh, and the three ugly ways that it comes out is lust anger and greed so today morning i was hearing one lecture prabhupada was telling that you know, he says the conditioned soul uh, with such a materialistic mindset hmm, he want to catch anybody huh? he want to beat anybody he want to loot anybody prabhupada was saying huh? so it really hit my heart it uh, got registered in my mind huh? like for example everybody is allowed to marry a woman and uh, live as a husband and wife peacefully but the conditioned soul want to catch somebody else's hands huh? and similarly somebody becomes angry they want to they become angry to a point of beating huh? somebody hmm. similarly somebody becomes greedy seeing somebody so they want to loot them so these three words proper is kind of nice isn't it catch somebody beat somebody or loot somebody so catch beat loot is for lust anger and greed he says so this is actually gramya buddhi eh? so the there is one verse uh, chitraketu says tasmat yuvam gramya pashor मम मूढ़ प्रभो अंधे तमसी मग्न से ज्ञान दीप उदीरता अंधे मीन वाट ब्लाइंड तमसी मीन डाकने सो मेटीरियल वर्ल्ड इज तमसी डाकने एंड आई एम ब्लाइंड इज से अंधे तमसी मग्न से ज्ञान दीप प्लीज लिट ऑफ द टास्ट लिट ऑफ नॉलेज इन मई हार्ट आई एम ब्लाइंड एंड द मेटीरियल वर्ल्ड इज डार्क एंड इज से Uh, I am Gramya Pushu. You saying Gramya Pushu means village dog. It has a double meaning. One meaning is a village dog is very dirty, 
and uh, it is not bathed like the dogs kept in people's homes. <laughs> you know, it's very dirty and it roams here and there. But another meaning of Grammy Prashu means my mind is not spiritual. My mind is materialistic mindset. Tasmad Yuvam Gramya Pashur, Mama Mooda Diya Prabhu, I am a foolish person like that. Later on, this is not early, this is, you know, when he presents this, when Narada and Gira, both of them come to wake up the sleep, I mean, dead child. At the time they make the child speak, no, Narada makes the child speak. You know, at that time it comes. He actually takes shelter of them and then surrenders. So, earlier he could not recognize his materialistic mindset. But later he recognized it. Uh, that means, like we have to see through the specs and we should be able to look at the specs also. Which means, we all should be able to see that I am a soul passing through millions of lifetimes and in this particular lifetime, you know, my psychophysical nature is like this. These are the scripts in my mind. I have certain type of behavior, certain type of natures. Uh, due to which, and there is some amount of Grama Buddhi huh, uh, in my mind which has to be cleansed over a period of time by serious practice of devotional service. So, now uh, one thing is when we are coming together as a community, society, uh, when you are training the counselees, many times, you know, we take spiritual subjects which are very lofty, transcendental. Hmm, in my different travels, I ask the different preachers, what do you take? Different places. So, like somebody says, so we are studying about the 108 names of Lord Nityananda. Somebody was doing it. In one place. Another place I went, somebody was telling that, you know, the Ekadashi day we do this Vaishnava song, we do, we recite the, all the shlokas of Bhagavad Gita, you know, and we, uh, some of them are also, you know, reciting some ashtakams and all those things they do. Very wonderful. Huh? They do. Now, there are other people uh, who are also in the Krishna conscious movement, they are teaching yoga, how to do yoga sanas. Because they say that first people's mind should be calm, then only we can put them in the class and teach. Huh? So then some of them are teaching yoga, hmm. some of them are teaching Sanskrit, some of them are teaching, you know, spoken English and different things like that. And uh, um, of course, the idea is you start with spoken English and then eventually you can teach Prabhupada books, how to read Prabhupada books or whatever. Start with Sanskrit. Prabhupada also started with Sanskrit in America. <laughs> eventually he stopped that class and then started teaching Krishna consciousness. Now, little did they know who Prabhupada was. Those people didn't know. He was a pure devotee who wanted to give them Krishna. But he started with something to bridge with them. So, now, uh, I am not talk, going to talk anything about this bridging topics. That is altogether outside the scope of today's talk. But when we are giving to our counselees, when we are talking to the counselees, many times, uh, as in whatever occasion is there, on the connected to the occasion, we speak many things. Counselor to counselee. I say counselor to we are students. We are speaking to some students in my college. So these bridging topics are okay with me to student, right? Correct. Yeah, it's good to begin with. Something to begin with. But what I am talking now is different. I am talking about say you have a counselee for five years or ten years, people coming for our classes. And then you find that their old mental scripts don't change. Uh, for example, some of them like, uh, um, one example I'll tell you. I'll just show you one shloka, I'll show you. Just, yeah? Uh, actually, if somebody is not able to see the projector, they'll pass the Zoom link on the on your messages, broadcast. So, please log in into Zoom and I will open You can see this verse? Okay, I'll show in English, I'll show it. I'll have to repeat this. Prajaha Krishna and Nihato Mani Grevo Vanam Gataha Prata Mame Tita Shrutva Karne Karne Ajapanjanaha. See here it says, He said, Krishna probably killed my brother. 
who went to the forest wearing the jewel on his neck. The general populace heard this accusation and began whispering it in one another's ears. This is Dwaraka. So in Dwaraka, you all know the context here. This is Shamadaka Jewel chapter. This is spoken by Satrajit. Satrajit's brother's name is Prasena. Now Prasena went to forest, you know, wearing the Shamadaka Jewel on his neck. And because it was a shining object that was seen by the uh, lion who, uh, who attacked him and snatched away the Shamadaka jewel, and the lion wore it. And later on, our, uh, what is his name, Jambavan, he slapped the lion, he killed the lion, and he took away. Uh, and then he hung it above the cradle of his child as a toy object, like that. So that's the actual story. But Satrajit was not aware of the whole picture, what he was thinking. He thought that because Krishna already had mentioned that the jewel should be given to the king and I didn't give it. Therefore, I suspect, I conjecture that Krishna might have uh, stolen this. See, he doesn't say Krishna did it. He says, Ayaha Krishna nirihato. He says, maybe Krishna has taken, like that he said. But most of the people talk Prajalpa with maybe only. There are three boxes, yes box, no box, not sure box. Most people speak which, which box they speak? Sure. Not sure box. Prayaha Krishna Nehato. Probably, see, Krishna probably killed my brother, he's saying. Prayaha Krishna Nehato. Manigrivo Vanam Gataha. He must have taken my jewel. My brother took my jewel and went. And I think Krishna killed my brother and then took away the jewel. Like that, he suspected. But did he keep his suspicion within mouth? Did he keep it? He spoke out. Hmm. And then he spoke to some people. Karne, karne, ajapan, jara. One from one year to second year to third year to fourth year. One, one year. From this year to this year. It went on like this. And everybody started talking that maybe Krishna has killed his brother. When Krishna heard the news, he thought Caesar's wife must be above suspicion. You know, the king cannot be suspected. Mm. Immediate action should be taken. Same thing with Lord Rama also. When Rama was suspected by a dobi, immediately he arranged for his most beloved Shakti to be sent to Valmiki's ashram. Huh? You know, because the king's character should be spotless. Huh? Of course, king's character is spotless, but if there is a suspicion, the suspicion has to be rooted out. Huh? So, so therefore, Krishna went to the forest and then he met, you all know that, our Jambavan, and he got the jewel back and then gave it to Satrajit. So that is the uh, <clears throat> pastime. But here my purpose of my quoting this is what? Uh, some people have a tendency to speculate and pass rumors no. which are actually not true. No. And they speak as if the rumor is a reality. No. And then they speak it with conviction and uh, that is a bad habit some people have and it goes round and round. Now, <clears throat> such people may be practicing Krishna consciousness five years or ten years or fifteen years. So, question will arise in our mind, why this person doesn't change? Huh? Why this person continues this tendency? Hmm. Similarly, somebody is an angry person. Huh? So, uh, say he began his this lifetime as an angry person <laughs> and before the life ends, an angry person should become a peaceful person. Is it not true? Huh? A greedy person should become a satisfied person. A selfish person should become a selfless person. Isn't it? Yeah. In the same manner, like an arrogant person should become a humble person. So that is called a change of heart. Isn't it? So, uh, we are chanting the holy name, we are hearing the lectures, attending so many programs. Why does a person doesn't change? If somebody says, no, no, no it's just for bhava of a person, it cannot be changed. Uh, it's a nature. For example, you will say Rahugana, in a moment he gave up his arrogance. Uh, how he could give up? Because the moment he recognized that this is a pure devotee, Jadabharat, huh? and I don't want to offend, he became very submissive. He got down from the palanquin and caught hold of his feet and begged forgiveness huh? from him. And then he says that, Daham Vrishanke, Sura Raja Vajra, Natrakshachula, Nayamasya Dandat, all those verses he says, Shanke Vrisham, uh, Brahma Kulava Manat. Huh? He says that, I am extremely afraid to offend the great soul. Because when we do Mahadaparad, hmm, the result is very dangerous. Huh? So, 
He says that I know I am not afraid of Yamas Danda. Also, he says, let Yamas Danda punish me. Let Shiva's Trishul chase after me. Uh, let Varuna's Pash bind me. I am not afraid of any of those, but I am afraid of offending a great soul. So that means he had a change of heart, correct? No, you know, within a short time, as soon as he heard the subject matter of self-realization. Now we are training our counselees many times. So many years they are hearing. Why some people don't change? Huh? We may have a question. Huh? So why people just hold on to their Gramya Buddhi? Hmm? Or they hold on to their mental scripts which are impure? Hmm? Even after years they don't change. Well, one of the possibilities is that they are not getting the right medicine that should transform them. Not that the counsellors are not presenting purely. Uh, counsellors with, uh, with all due respect to them, they are presenting, I can tell you, first class thing. I can tell you. Huh? Many of the counselors are teaching, like I told you, you know, Navagauravaram, they are singing in their group, many of them are singing, you know, and they are also telling Chaitanya Leela, some of them speaking Kolevacha Sridhar, somebody speaking Mahaprakash Leela, somebody similar to Kartik Mand comes, you know, he may speak about Kartik, uh, I mean, the uh, Vindavan pastimes, he may speak, uh, you know, now Rathyatra is coming, he may speak Jagannath pastimes. But what happens with the audience, they are not in that level to relish what is being presented. So here the description is going on, here a person is asking, what is the menu today? You know, <laughs> if pastimes are going on at this level, it's going on a spiritual plane. <laughs> here this person is thinking about, what is menu? <laughs> what is the sabji? What is the sweet? Go to the kitchen, just find out and come. <laughs> you know? So, therefore, for resonance to occur, you know, two forks should be at the same frequency. Then only the resonance happens. Correct, no? The resonance principle means what? If you vibrate one fork, other fork also will vibrate. Mm -hmm. Sound also comes. You will see that. Because they are vibrating at the same frequency. Huh? So, you are speaking at a spiritual frequency and they are hearing at material frequency. Mm. Yeah. Like you heard the story, <laughs> funny story you heard, no? One uh, Guruji was speaking, who had a long beard, uh, and one fellow was sitting in the audience and he was weeping. And the Guruji said, I think the Ram Leela, when you hear, you could not uh, control your emotions, you were crying in the audience. Huh? He said, I was crying because when I looked at your bird, I remembered my goat. He has a similar <laughs> beard he was selling. So, they were at two different frequencies, right? Guruji is speaking uh, advanced Katha. <laughs> Yeah. He is speaking on a spiritual frequency. This fellow is hearing from a goat frequency. Eh? Attachment to goat. So, most people actually, uh, when the class goes on, their mind goes to so many things, different things. Eh? So, uh, therefore, what we administer to our people, uh, whether it is reaching to their hearts, uh, whether it is doing the right kind of repair, uh, which should be done, and uh, uh, is it going to wake them up uh, spiritually? Spiritual awakening will happen and spiritual convictions will develop and spiritual surrender will happen subsequently. And then that kind of surrender gives them the higher taste of Krishna consciousness which is promised in the scriptures. You know? And then having acquired the higher taste, they become completely satisfied in that and they attain fulfillment and they don't stick their neck out of the window for any other type of petty pleasures. You know? And anyone who has received uh, that spiritual realization uh, will become sober, will become grave, and they will not be uh, fascinated by uh, the worldly uh, dealings, which we, which they called as Gramya Buddhi. Huh? You know, one doesn't delight in Pajalpa, one doesn't delight in such kinds of rumor mongering uh, or unnecessary uh, misbehavior or uh, erratic behavior with Vaishnavas. Correct, no? So, uh, uh, and that is why, now I will show you something. Yeah, see this one. See, what is the eligibility to uh, take up by the sadhana bhakti? There is only one thing you need, huh? just attraction to Krishna service, that's all. Huh? What do you need? Attraction to Krishna service. This can be made a little, uh, I think it is too. Uh, yeah. 
I think you want to increase their enthusiasm. Samutkanta, you have to extend your kanta. You know? Yeah, all right. Little more below. You can reduce the height of them. So, see, even if one is deficient in knowledge or renunciation, if one has any attraction to serving Krishna, he is qualified to begin, he says. So, in my travels recently, I went to Bhubaneswar. Um, I met one uh, couple, very wonderful couple. And uh, that Mataji's name is uh, Indumati Mataji. She's a doctorate. Huh? And she has done a uh, doctorate in, uh, in uh, related to the child psychology and things like that. So, uh, when I heard that this Mataji has got 60 leaders under her, huh? and those 60 leaders, each of them are having seven, seven people, huh? uh, seven, seven leaders under them, like that. So, then I wanted to interview and find out more details. Huh? Then I asked questions to many questions to her. So, one of the things uh, uh, in, in our talk, uh, she was telling, actually her method is, Every leader is given only seven people to take care. Because how many days are there in a week? Yeah. So each day you give her one one person, just phone up and ask, are you all right? Seven people. She also gives only seven people with her. And then those seven people take care of seven, seven each. And as they grow also, then she keeps on adding seven, seven people like that she does. Like that kind of thing she does. And she says that we should not pile up too many people under one person. Uh, and she says it seems to be very effective. Uh, she was telling an interesting point. Their method of bringing new Mataji is how they do. In their temple, Sunday morning, 10 to 1, there is a special program for newcomers. How does the program go? 10 o'clock, the new ladies are told to bring Boga for Prabhupada. Uh, they offer to Prabhupada Deity. Uh, so, the new ladies come. Can you bring next Sunday? Boga, and happily they cook and bring some items. And it is all offered, uh, everything. And then they announce the name also, who all brought Boga. That they have. Then uh, they perform Guru Puja. Uh, and after that, they have the reading from some Leela Amrita, some pastime of Prabhupada, and then some lesson from that. Uh, little bit. And then they do Vaishnava Sankirtan. Uh, and uh, in this way, she was telling that a newcomer is given directly only service. No, we don't, they don't give any philosophy and that. Only service. Why? Because the service purifies them and gives connection to them, connection to the group. So, uh, by because many people are happy for doing service, that's why it's written here. Even if one is deficient in knowledge or renunciation, if he has any attraction to serving Krishna, then one is qualified to begin devotion service. Hmm? They begin like that. And then once they serve, they, because of the service, many of them are fond of doing seva. They are given many services. And then as they do, uh, some of them perform drama together also. Um, some of them, so uh, cooking is one service and garland making. Uh, new people are directly engaged in some service, but it's not offered to deities directly. It's offered to Prabhupada, like that they are doing. And then those who are coming regularly out of eight Sundays, if they came for four Sundays, they are qualified to go to the next group. Well, that is the group in which they start reading and explaining from Prabhupada's books. After that, they start like that. Huh? So she was telling in this way, you know, uh, service people are willing to come forward very easily. That was the point I was making. Hmm. And how can we obtain the great fortune of attraction to Krishna's service? Uh, by association with Krishna's devotees. Because when you go to devotees, they'll give you service. Huh? They have many, many services they'll give you. Hmm. So, devotees are looking for helping hands. So, they'll give you service. See here, how do we, then one may ask, starting your service is easy with attraction, eh? attraction for service. But how do you advance in Krishna consciousness? Hmm? The stronger the attraction to Krishna consciousness, more one is qualified to begin and advance in uh, sadhana bhakti. That means if you have a strong attraction, then the advancement happens also. Hmm? So, okay. Guru and uh, Shastra are telling us to do Vaidhi sadhana bhakti. Eh? That's how we begin. Here comes the point, last point mentioned here. The stronger one's faith in and knowledge of the Shastras, the stronger is one's attraction and thus the more eligible one is to advance. I would like to explain this a little bit. 
<clears throat> you see, uh, the most material, most part of the material world, if you see, the Asari Pravarti is observed. And the Asari Pravarti is not because everybody is Asura. Most people are ignorant of Krishna consciousness. Like his Lokasya Ajanato Vidvam Chakre Satpata Samhitam. What is that verse? Anarto Upashamam Sakshat Bhakti Yogam Adhokshaje Lokasya Ajanato Vidvam Chakre Satpata Samhitam. He's telling that Lokasya Ajanato means the people are ignorant, people are unaware. If they are aware, probably they won't do the things what they are doing. Why Prabhupada is insisting on book distribution? That's the reason. Because when books go to the hand, people read the books. They are not going to be the way they are now. The books are going to transform them. So, most part of the world is ignorant and foolish. So, there's asuras. Asuras symptom is what? They won't align with the Lord. They will be independent of the Lord. That's one of the symptoms of asuras. Primary symptom. Sura means they align. Asura means they don't align. They oppose the plan of the Lord. So, now suras are they all right? But suras also have a problem. In suras also there are two, two categories, pious and spiritual. Huh? Yeah. So the pious uh, suras, um, they have a combination of material and spiritual desire. Correct? No? Material is like smoke, spiritual is like fire. They Sometimes they get sukhduk, shita, vishnamana, paman, they get duality. Why they get duality? Because both are there. Huh? Because they have material and spiritual disease, they have. They want to enjoy the material world also and they want to become spiritually advanced also like that. Uh, and they are the people who struggle, uh, the demigods, for example. Sometimes they are troubled by demons and uh, other times they, when they see the Lord, they are very happy and all that. And the other category, the spiritual category of people, they are very clear that an ultimate goal is Krishna's lotus feet, how to go back to Godhead. So, then they, uh, the people who are pious and spiritual, these are the people who take to Vaidhi Sadhana Bhakti. Huh? They'll take to Vaidhi Sadhana Bhakti. Hmm. And because Vaidhi Sadhana Bhakti, here comes the point. Vaidhi Sadhana Bhakti requires a regulated lifestyle. Hmm? And Guru says, chant 16 rounds. Not that you love to chant 16 rounds. <laughs> you chant because of the instruction of the Guru, instruction of the Shastra. Therefore, we chant. Hmm? Attraction is not that much, hmm. very little attraction. Especially when you take Diksha, you keep a promise to Guru that I will do it, therefore we do it. Hmm. But how we chant, everybody has a different style. If you want, <laughs> if you go to the Hare Krishna TV, 30 ways they have shown how one should not chant. You can put that, that you know, ways not to chant, you put, you will get it. Huh? They are showing, you know, keeping a smartphone and chanting and, you know, like that many other ways they are showing like that. So, the sadhana bhakti doesn't purify us very easily if we are going to do very distracted chanting, naturally. And, and for people who are very careless in devotional service, in that kind of devotional service, it takes a very long time duration of anarthanavriti. The period becomes extremely long. So, now, when the, in the, the more the purification, the more the higher taste arises. And lesser the purification, you know, more gramya buddhi. You understand, no? More materialistic consciousness. Huh? So, which means, in Bhajanakriya stage, we take initiation. Huh? Then we don't cross the Anarthanavirti and come to Nishta Bhakti. Nishta Bhakti is a stage where our faith is like a deep-rooted tree. Huh? Uh, uh, in the uh, Bhajanakriya stage, our Bhakti is like a sapling. Huh? A sapling can be, with a little effort, you can pull it out. Huh? Whereas, after Bhajanakriya, when Nishta comes, sorry, uh, Bhajanakriyata uh, Anarathanamriti and then Nishta. The Nishta is like a tree which is uh, thick. Stem is, stem is very thick. You can't even shake the tree. Huh? That's like a shake, unshakable fight we get. Then Nishta onwards, then Gramya Buddhi will become practically nil huh? because one, one is fully focused on the Lord. Now, but most part of the world, even in our organization, devotees are practicing. Huh? They are actually making an effort to cross the Anarathanamriti stage. Correct now? And now this is the reason for the Gramya Buddhi. So, okay, if somebody has Gramya Buddhi, materialistic consciousness, what should one do? Uh, that is what is subject here. Because we don't have to talk about Nishta, Ruchi, Asakti, Bhava, Prema and all, they are already advanced stages. Uh, and we are not talking about, you know, 
श्रद्धा साधु संघ भजन क्रिया बिकॉज मेनी हैव कम ऑलरेडी टू स्टेज ऑफ इनिशिएशन आर सिक्सटीन राउंड्स करेक्ट ना अभ्यास योग्य नेता तो माँ इच्छा आप तुम धनजी वाट दैट वर्स अत चित्तम समाधा तुम न शक्नो शी मई स्थिरम अभ्यास योगे न तथो माँ इच्छा आप तुम धनंजय कृष्ण स्थलिंग यू सेइंग दैट अभ्यास योगा यू डू व्हाट वी आर डूइंग इस अभ्यास योगा एक्चुअली व्हाट वी आर डूइंग इस दैट सिक्सटीन राउंड्स एंड फोर रेक्स इसको अभ्यास योगा अत चित्तम समाधा तुम न शक्नो शी मई इफ यू आर � Remember me constantly, Arjun. You have another alternative. Remembering me is for a pure devotee. You can't remember me. Then the next step is Abhyasa Yoga. 16 rounds chanting and 4 regs. But along with that, he has put one more condition. Anybody observed in this sloka? Mami Chaptam. Mami Chaptam means not only you should do 16 rounds and 4 regs, you should have a strong desire to attain me. That means, you know, it's not that I have done my 16 rounds today over. No. When will the day come? Kabe, what is it? Kabe, habe bolo? Sedina Amar. When will the day come? Aparada Gucci, Shuddhana Meruchi. My Aparada will be gone and Shuddhana Amar, I will chant the pure name. The day will come when I will roll in the dust of Raj and I will see Krishna eye to eye and the divine couple Radha and Krishna I will see and I will serve them. So, um, <clears throat> one devotee asked me that uh, you know, Prabhu, we are doing Vaidhi Sadhana Bhakti in Nectar of Devotion, it is said, simply doing Vaidhi Sadhana Bhakti, we cannot go to Goloka. You have to have Raga Bhakti. So therefore, some people are saying, if you are in ISKCON, it is not enough. You have to go to Vrindavan and find out some Babaji, Guruji, who will connect you to Raga Bhakti. So, when I asked this question to one Maharaj, so he said, who said we are doing Vaidhi Sadhana Bhakti? We are doing Raga Bhakti, he said. I asked how, because we are worshipping Tulsi Maharani every morning. To her, we are offering a petition. More Eya Vilas, Vilas Kunja Diyavas. I want to reside in the Kunjas of Vindavan. And what I want to do there? Nayane Heri Posada, Yuga Ruparashi. With my, in the corner of my eyes, I want to behold the beautiful forms of Shri Radha and Krishna. And then what I want to do after that? Huh? Ah, what is the next line? Dina. Dina. Yehi nivedana daro, sakira na kathu, please make me a servant maid of one of the gopis here, like Lalita, Vishaka, so many are there. And if nobody has time, everybody is super busy, make me your servant only, he is telling to Tulasi Maharani. He is saying that, yehi nivedana daro, sakira na kathu karo, seva adhikar diye karo nija dasi. Okay, at least you are hearing my petition, you only make me your servant. And engage me in the service of divine couple. And then he is saying that I am Krishna Das, servant of Shri Radha and Krishna. So this is what, this is Raga prayer it is. It is actually prayer for attaining Raga Bhakti it is. You are getting entry into Vindavan through this. And we are doing occasionally or daily. Daily we are watering Tulasi. Daily we are circumambulating that. Daily we are entering into, we are actually putting a petition for Raga Bhakti every single day. And Srila Prabhupada also has faithfully served his spiritual master and given all the knowledge. So, we have Vaidhi Sadhana Bhakti and Raga Bhakti put together in our society. Huh? Both are available. So, in this way, Mahamit Chaptun Dharanjaya means that desire to, actually the, that small desire we have to meet the Lord and love and serve Him, that desire is actually the seed for Raga Bhakti. Huh? Later on it grows as, as a fire. Huh? The desire is very... So, where will the desire come from? Mahadanugraha. Huh? Uh, one of the anugraha, uh, kripa of a great mahat. Hmm? Of, uh, so, when we, and that, how do we attract that kripa of a great soul? We make an effort to please. Uh, so, you make an effort to serve and satisfy and please Hari, Guru and Vaishnavas. We keep trying that. And then mahat kripa comes in our life. Huh? And then the taste will be increased like that. Um, then what happens? Initially, we were non-aligned with the Lord, going in wrong direction. Then we became aligned. After we became aligned, we are put in Vaidhi Sadhana Bhakti. Uh, and we also brought a small desire, Mami Chaptam Dhananjaya desire. And that grows, and that is what becomes a very deeply situated devotion, where one becomes uh, a genuine practitioner. Uh, genuine practitioner, for example, think about it, when do I chant the holy names from the bottom of my heart, if you think? 
when you are grateful you chant from bottom of the heart huh? when you are repentant you chant from the bottom of the heart huh? when you are excited and thrilled like a eureka experience you get when you read or hear something then it comes from the bottom of your heart huh? when you are thrilled by the deity's darshan thrilled by the kirtan thrilled by what you read in proper books so that time you chant from the bottom of the heart yeah and also when you feel separation it comes from the bottom of the heart huh? so in separation in union in gratitude in repentance in excitement of seeing the lord or anything connected to lord so in all these situations the holy name springs from the bottom of the heart of a devotee that means the devotion is getting strengthened so in this way from non alignment to aligned with the lord lord's plan at least begin with that and then to avay the sadhana bhakti and then develop that mami chaptam into bigger and bigger is here and then one becomes uh, very strong in the devotion so and then with that uh, strong uh, uh, devotional disposition uh, when one reads prabhupad books then great secrets will be revealed to us huh? for example we will come to know that lord enjoys in empowering his devotee correct now like ram is empowering hanuman to jump and find out sita and come whereas he himself needs setu bandha correct now yeah similarly lord chaitanya empowered haridas thakur to chant how many names three lakh names every day prabhu said lord chaitanya only preached in india i am preaching all over the world huh? how because lord chaitanya empowered prabhu <laughs> is it so lord empowers lord delights in empowering his devotee to be better than whom himself. better than himself like lord lord krishna tells pandavas i am not able to convince yudhishthir maharaj but who can convince him Bhishma. Lord empowers his devotee. So one understands, oh, Lord is so big-hearted. He gives the credit to Arjuna. Uh, he empowers Bhishma. Then our affection for the Lord increases mm, even more. Then we, understands, then we understand that Lord even puts devotees in traumatic situations huh? or sometimes like uh, very awkward situations. Like Arjuna was chastised by Krishna at the beginning of Gita, correct? Ashuchan and Vishwataswam and all that. although he doesn't deserve it because he is always in knowledge but he played the drama for all of, all of us for our sake like prabhupada says ya ya saas she teaches her bahu uh, daughter in law through whom her own daughter so lord teaches us through his own pure devotees so in this way the lord puts his devotees sometimes in a traumatic uh, situation not traumatic traumatic is not the right word you can say awkward situation yeah awkward awkward situation huh? yeah like for example lord made chitraketu rutrasura correct no the axle rate is coming back to vaikuntha huh? uh, yeah testing yeah testing testing situation yeah <laughs> lord uh, uh, took away the power of uh, gandiva bow from arjuna so that he will not hurt himself correct no in this way you will find uh, lord put prahlad in so many trying situations can say that lord put ambrish in a trying situation so but lord wants to show the world the glory of his pure devotee when he puts them in trying situations uh, so how the devotee behaved in that situation becomes a lesson for the whole world uh, not that lord is uh, putting devotee devotee also puts the lord in trying situation like for example uh, he will find the uh, gopis are uh, putting krishna balram and uh, uh subhadra in a chariot and dragging them to vrindavan uh krishna is in anxiety i have so much work to do in dwaraka huh? but uh, he cannot escape huh? they have to come to vrindavan huh? or you find mother yashoda binds krishna uh, to the grinding mortar and all the devatas are seeing from the sky and devata devatas are smiling hey look at our lord he is bound now huh? one lady has bound him huh? just see how powerful that lady must be huh? she bound him through her now so that means devotees put lord in a, a testing situation and the lord puts devotees in testing situation and in uh, in doing so they are delighting in love for each other huh? this is the climax of bhakti yoga practice where uh, in our life also we all remember extreme situations huh? like uh, for example if uh, imagine uh, uh, some uh, uh, extreme great challenge was given to you. you you thought it's almost impossible for you huh? 
to complete that and then you could complete it that gives you thrill so actually the challenge should be little beyond you and you thought it is impossible and then when you achieve it you feel the greatest thrill you will see that so lord also puts devotee in a curious condition devotee doesn't know like parikshit is not knowing the forest is picking up a dead snake and putting he doesn't know what is going to come next see he didn't he was not told by the lord in advance seven days you have to come to bank of ganga and then you will you know you will hear bhagavatam i want to make you an instrument for, for bhagavatam did the lord tell him in advance no so you will, this is a beauty because if you tell everything in advance there is no thrill in that huh? lord want to show the world i will put my devotee like this just see how he behaves huh? yeah so it's very amazing like sobri mani is cursing garuda lord never told garuda that he will be cursed like that huh? but garuda is taking the curse and not giving back the curse huh? and the what is know exactly how to behave to please the lord like when kumara saw jay vijay you know they were appearing to be angry stopping him stopping them at the gate but then when they spelled out the curse they fell at the feet and caught hold of their feet huh? the the way they behaved uh, kumara became ashamed they later on thought that we did a mistake these are vaishnavas huh? you know we unnecessarily spoke so harshly with them they lamented later on huh? so lord wants show the world put my devotee in a testing situation how the devotee behaves huh? and devotee is put lord in a testing situation to see like for example agasura's mouth all the covered boys are entering uh, uh, did krishna like the idea no so it appears like they are going against the lord here comes a very very fine point see in this world routine doesn't please us sometimes doing something mischievously uh, naughtily that pleases us how many of you agree correct na yeah so what the difference between the material naughtiness and spiritual naughtiness huh? in the material naughtiness are asuras huh? you know they have to be solidly treated, treated because the material naughtiness is creating havoc in the world <laughs> arising from grame buddhi correct no on the other hand the spiritual naughtiness is what the devotee testing the lord lord testing devotee huh? so that is in the spiritual plane uh it is not a straight forward it's like a snake uh yeah yeah it's not a straight path it's very thrilling it is there is spontaneity uh there is spontaneity in the behavior of lord and the devotee so that is more thrilling just like imagine somebody is buying two son babri packets in the shop if you and if he has a close friend walking next to him you will say hey you are buying two i think one for me one for you uh i was me say i who said for you huh? is for my uncle so he doesn't tell him straight but while going on the last day he takes uh, one of the boxes and keeps it in his friend's suitcase huh? and his friend is opening suitcase and seeing suddenly oh such a big packet of somebody in my pack who kept it in asking the friend hey you said it's for your mama i said who is mama you are my mama i says huh? so they so chakravarti thakur says his example in one of the commentaries uh-huh. of course he doesn't say sonbabdi he says some other example he gives uh-huh. but i use the example sonbabdi but what he is saying if they are formal friends what they will say if this fellow buys two the other fellow you know he may not even ask him is it one for me because formal relationship and in case he gives him he will say how much take this 200 rupees he will pay him and initially he may very formally say no it's all right he may say and then he is all right is also not all right so you know yeah and then this will understands uh, he wants money but he is hesitant to take no no you take he says then he takes relationship is weak or uh, thick very weak relationship in thick relationship there is a naughty behavior huh? so therefore lord and the devotee testing each other is really it makes a relationship more just like look at uh, nimaya pandit going to the shop of uh, naughty behavior it's not straight forward you see and it gives so much thrill to both of them hmm. so now i will have to halt my talk till 7:40 to 8 i have another talk for the iit boys iit hyderabad no so uh, you can do two things if you all are thrilled by this discussion what we had <laughs> you can talk amongst yourself or if your stomach is thrilled for prasad <laughs> you can take prasad also you have two choices huh you have a place for me where i can talk to them yes, oh, i will do that i have another 5 minutes i have yeah want to finish your some group discussion <laughs> yeah so now i will round up uh, what i spoke yeah yeah yes. so there is a majestic person 
ಪರ್ಸನಾಲಿಟೀಸ್ ಯು ಟೇಕ್ ವಿಭೀಷಣ್ ಜಿವಿಷನ್ ಗುಹಾ ಸುಗ್ರೀವ ಒನ್ ಮೋರ್ ಐ ಡೋಂಟ್ ನೋ ಹೂಸ್ ಅ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಒನ್ ದೀಸ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ವಿತ್ ಡೀಪ್ ಅಫೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಫಾರ್ ರಾಮ್ ಬಟ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಅಫ್ರೈಡ್ ಆಫ್ ರಾಮ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಸೈಮಲ್ಟೇನಿಯಸ್ಲಿ ಅಫ್ರೈಡ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ದೇ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಟೂ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ವಿ ಶುಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಗೋ ನಿಯರ್ ದಟ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಫೆಕ್ಷನ್ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದೇ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಗೆಟ್ ಲಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಥ್ರಿಲ್ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ಶಿಪ್ ದೆನ್ ಹನುಮಾನ್ ಇಸ್ ಬೋಲ್ಡ್ ಎನಫ್ ಟು ಗೋ ಇನ್ ಫ್ರಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ರಾಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬೌ ಡೌನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಹೀ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಕಿಂಕರ್ because he always ask him karomi is asking where these people are called prashya they stay little away but they are serving faithfully also but uh, lakshman is even more near he can even massage ram's feet and also he can make a bedding for ram can make cottage for ram he can bring vegetables fruits for ram he is most intimate you can see that so that means in servants also there are three categories correct no in the same manner uh in in relationship between devotees if we don't get the juice before getting the juice with krishna so actually the relationship uh, with devotees it also can come through for example when i re- heard the lectures of his holiness satyabhadas maharaj and lot lectures articles and also his holiness uh, gaur goind swami maharaj and his holiness uh, devamrit swami maharaj i have taken many of these articles and developed uh, you know essays and everything like that uh, workshops and all so although the person may be far away the wordings they use the talk they speak you can easily your heart can resonate with it you know uh, when a heart resonates with a person that's what is why we call as shiksha vikal what is shiksha shiksha means <clears throat> you don't have to impose it on people that you must hear these lectures without even being told people here Mm. and everybody has found out their shiksha from somewhere now because of the youtube availability many people have found out that these these speakers my heart resonates with them and they regularly hear they regularly hear they make notes they repeat those example stories they hear and all so they are drawing lot of nourishment mm. they are they are getting nourishment i know many of the bombay devotees parampara Ran- ranath maharaj's uh, disciples there they regularly hear the you know leela smaraj speaks and they make notes and everything they they have heard it so many times they can exactly say what all happens in a past time so that for sound vibration is a very powerful connector uh, in vaishnava circle to awaken love uh, that thrill the eureka experience and the affection that is sound vibration is very very important other things are secondary uh, people are attracted to prasad that's also thrilling uh, and people are attracted to kirtan people are attracted to deity darshan people are attracted to festivals people are attracted to yatras people are attracted to community support you know people are attracted by sacrifice of devotees what devotees have done for them yeah, all these things attract devotees but the deepest and strongest and long standing connection is sound vibration vaani because vaani is present even after the fellow leaves the planet even the person's physical body is not uh, observable but uh, and uh, the vani like propa propa lectures are still available all the propa left the plant in 77 we can strongly connect with his lectures correct right, no the resonance principle you get thrill in that definitely like you are getting thrill in bhagavatam you said you know you are reading for your you have group reading correct right, no yeah sparports yeah. the way the the way krishna reveals the truth to the acharya and the way the acharya brings out the truths so we are very thrilled by that isn't it so this is the thrill in the and also vaidhi sadhana bhakti stage we have a lot of sevas to do and the service also gives us uh, opportunity to touch the deity form of the lord and render service in a very personal way to deities as well as to devotees correct no thank you see when i i told many many things today in the talk but i will tell you how to see them in connection with each other and that will make it very easy because if we don't summarize uh, then we may get lost in multiple things that we said so one of the first things i was telling you i was uh, 
that uh, sometimes it is seen that the devotees who may be trained in Krishna consciousness, they show a double standard. Hmm? One outside they go and they are very materialistic. And they want to see glamour and show glamour in the outside world. And here in devotee association, they look like a, uh, you know, a swan. <laughs> you know? So, and then I was telling, what is the reason for that? Because uh, the purpose of uh, religious practice is to have a change of heart. Uh, and I told example of Rahugana and other people. If change of heart doesn't happen, people just keep coming for five years, ten years down the line. And uh, is it wrong that the counselors are not giving them what is supposed to be given? One may ask. But the counselors are sincere souls. They are trying to give many spiritual things. You know. But only thing is, they are speaking on a spiritual frequency, many advanced topics they are teaching. And the people's uh, mindset is very low on a material platform. You know, that is thinking materially and this is, uh, lectures are delivered spiritually. So, due to which there is a mismatch in the people. Nevertheless, people still come because they get many material goods here. Like they get nice prasad, they get society support, social support they get, you know, community support they get. People keep coming and people actually even may go even up to the point of initiation also. Uh, get initiated by a guru and then you are even more acceptable in society and you get respect also. But they may remain toddlers in spiritual life huh? and uh, continuing with their Grammy Buddhi. And, uh, that, and then I said, Grammy Buddhi comes out in varieties of ways, especially the three things I told you, lust, anger and greed. Huh? So, uh, they want to catch anybody, they want to beat anybody and loot anybody I was telling. So, these behaviors can be seen sometimes even in devotees who are stuck on a material plane. I was giving the example of Chitra Ketu. He could not take advantage of the saintly association, I said. Then I was telling after that, uh, that in the devotional path, sorry, uh, then I was making the point that in this world there are Asuras and Suras. Asuras are uh, uh, not aligned with the Lord. They oppose the plan of the Lord and therefore they are punishable. Uh, and the Suras are aligned with the Lord, but among them also there are two categories, I said. Who are they? Pious and spiritual, yeah. So, the pious people, uh, they want both material enjoyment and spiritual, uh, I mean, uh, they like the Lord also, they like material enjoyment also, correct now? And the spiritually minded people, they actually want to attain the Lord, although in the early stage, even a spiritual minded person in this world can struggle uh, to uh, preserve one's purity and advance in spiritual life. Huh? But both these people are good candidates to enter into the field of Vaidhi Sadhana Bhakti. Hmm? They can enter. Or Asuras cannot enter because the Asuras don't accept the Lord. Asuras are opposed to the plan of the Lord. They are not interested in reading the manual of the Lord. So they, they are ignorant also and they are not interested also. Huh? Like that. But those who are interested are pious and spiritual people. They can come into the fold of Vaidhi Sadhana Bhakti. And Vaidhi Sadhana Bhakti actually is a regulative devotional service, uh, which means. Uh, it has got vidhi. Vidhi means rules and Regulation. regulations. Yeah, but but those rules regulations should be done along with a longing to attain the Lord. What word Sanskrit word I said? Mamichaptum Dananjaya Krishna says. Huh? If you can't do maiye vaman adatsva maiye buddhim nivesha ye nivasishya si maiye va atavur dvam na samshaya that's a shuddha bhakti. Uh, Twelve point seven. Then he says. Atachittam samadhatum na shaknoshi mayistiram abhyasa yogi anatato mamichattam dhananjaya, like that he says. That's a, that is for all of us. Huh? That if you can't be remembering me 24 hours a day, then he says that do abhyasa yoga. But abhyasa yoga is incomplete if we don't have a longing to attain the Lord. So, therefore, we need association of very sincere devotees who can actually kindle that longing in our heart. Uh, they can fan that spark. The spark is already there in all of us, but that has to be fanned. That means our training programs should kindle that spark and fan that spark and make that spark into a fragrant fire. Uh, so that is the duty of every preacher. I can show you in Krishna book, now they have slightly changed that in editing. Uh, in Krishna book, there was one line. I have my old Krishna book with me still. Uh, in that book, it's written, it is the duty of the spiritual masters to... Uh, help the disciple develop a loving attraction for Krishna. Like that, there was a sentence Prabhupada writes. Now, these people in the editing, what they have done, they have written that, you know, uh, 
that one should cultivate, you know, loving attraction to Krishna, like that they have written. They have not put it as a duty of the spiritual masters. But original Prabhupada says it's a duty of the spiritual masters. Like that Prabhupada says that in his, uh, this thing. Uh, hmm? Certain things they have changed, certain sentences they have changed. Uh, you can ask his only Jayadu Swami Maharaj will give reasoning for that. He will give, there is a site available. I have the link I can send you. You can see all those changes like that. Hmm? So, now, uh, when we are talking about Na Vodpadiye Yadiratim Samayi Vikeval. You all know that sentence. Huh? So, that means we also have to increase that longing and we have to help people who are in touch with us, you know, increase that longing. And not doing this one, many, many educated, intelligent preachers who are 10, 20, 30 years in the movement, they are taking different directions as if they are going to live in this world forever. <laughs> somebody is getting into Sanskrit, somebody is getting into big, big uh, commentaries, huh? somebody is getting into Ayurveda, huh? somebody is into yoga. Huh? They are doing different kinds of things and they are also teaching their people different things. Hmm? Somebody is into Chanakya Niti, you know, somebody is into Mahabharata, different things like that. So we have to know that, uh, you know, next class when I come, I will tell you, right from the beginning and over the years, what type of intake should be taken. Even Mahabharata is also a part of it. <laughs> but in each phase of our beginning with uh, Bhajanakriya stage, Bhajakriya, Anartam, Vritti and Nishta stage, how should be our intake of sound vibration? I have made uh, this PowerPoint, I didn't show you. Uh, it is there, maybe I can show you very quickly, but there are questions they were saying. I had to answer the questions, correct now? That is more important than going on speaking. Otherwise, I can speak it next time, next class I come. The intake, about the intake. Actually, if you understand the intake, no? what we should take, that intake will gradually, gradually fan the spark that we all already have. No? That type of intake, if you take, just like for example, a child is newly born, you give only breast milk of mother. Then child is little grown up, what do you give? After that you can, you know, rice you start giving, then you give chapati. Imagine you take a big chapati or a parata and put it in the mouth of a newly born child. Child cannot take it. It's too high. So similarly, you know, reading hi-fi esoteric literature by a newcomer, it will be you know, proving to be fatal for them. Because one man's food is another man's poison, yeah. So we should know what are the intakes we should give them. Like, you know, you talk about very advanced things, you know. Uh, you are talking about 108 names of Lord Nityananda, you are teaching people. But for this person, he hardly cares, you know, who is Nityananda, <laughs> asking what is the menu today. <laughs> you know? He has not developed a feeling for Lord Nityananda, then how is he going to appreciate the 108 names? So, we have to speak at their level. Huh? And the counsel is what they need. Similarly, I was telling the children whom we are training, you know, when they are coming to teenage, their problems are of a different nature. You know, the, one of the things they are feeling some rebellion against parents, huh? and they want freedom, you know, they want adventure, they want thrill, and they want to try out what is this opposite sex, you know, what's wrong if you get close, things, the questions they have. But because many of us don't honestly bring these questions on the table, you know, neither do they open up, nor do we open up. Both are talking transcendental things. You understand, huh? Very advanced things you talk. And you also talk advanced things, they will also behave as if they understand it. But the actual problems are not addressed. No. And that is why they maintain a double standard, I was telling. Uh, they maintain a double standard. So, if you really want, uh, then you throw the question, let them, let them know that you are aware of what is going on in their heads. No. Then they will also ask questions, they will boldly ask questions, and then you can boldly answer, and then quote from the scriptures, then it makes sense also. Just like, for example, discover yourself, it answers many of the questions that new beginners have, correct, no? Because it exactly hits the nail, that's why many of them, after the course, they become submissive. No? They've seen many videos of scientists and everything like that. In the same manner, at every stage, a person's mind brings up skepticism, doubts, you know. So those things are addressed, addressed, addressed. Then what happens? You clear, this is clear, this is clear, this is clear. Then that small spark grows big. Then from the bottom of the heart, they can do devotion to Krishna. Correct, now. Otherwise, what happens? The doubts and skepticisms remain. But the number of years have 
uh, gone many years have gone ahead then you know then they may not be able to express their devotion to the lord because there are many stumbling bottlenecks on the way that was the point i was trying to make hope it's clear now point is clear some questions you can take where is mat yeah mike mike is coming to you about children training so one of the observation is that children especially we teach them our vishnu gaudiya sampradaya philosophy so we introduce lord chaitanya krishna shila prabhupada all the purports so from childhood what they know is our sampradaya and our teachings so when they grow up you know there they observe outside the world there are many other religious practices as well right. like if you see in maharashtra chaitanya mahaprabhu is not so popular right. we will see varkari sampradaya vithala south india there are different hmm. sampradayas so there can be an understanding that it is like imposition on them because that is what we are learned and that is what we are passing on to them so how they develop the appreciation for our teachings but in our bms uh, i have seen the you know the little girls are dressed like maharashtrian women and the men are dressed like uh, dhoti kurta and everything they carry a palki also correct ma ji where is it or ma ji correct you all did that right they they are go uh, taking the palki from the school i think to the other side of the garden or somewhere they go correct na so they are giving the culture also and also if you see during the balotsav you know there was a big uh, uh, they put up one pandarpur uh, this thing one performance you know so because we are living in maharashtra it's unavoidable and it is very natural and it is welcomable also Uh, that the culture of maharashtra thing comes up in many of our cultural programs also at the same time as you said uh, we can have at certain standard like eighth or ninth standard we can give them exposure to all the four sampradayas you know some detail in some detail we can give and the different organizations they represent and what is mayavadi and what is vaishnava uh, what is the different siddhantas you know we can also give them some clue so that they know that because prabhupada himself in his books gives us understanding of different different uh, schools of thought he gives in his books so we can also present like that there is one article by uh, i think ravindra sur prabhu i think which called as uh, spiritual strategies for the iron age there is a there's an article in btg it talks about all the dvaita advaita vasishta advaita all those things are explained in that so we can give multiple angles and similarly we, we can also teach what is darwin's theory and why is it wrong what is the vedic uh, version what vedas say similarly what is the big bang theory and what the, what do the vedas say about it so let them know both what is the atheistic version what is the theistic version they can learn both with nothing to hide but nowadays we are living in a world of internet nobody can be hidden from anything <laughs> everything is open for them and besides that i am not only talking about the different uh, uh, paramparas i am also talking about uh, the especially the children who have come to 13 or 14 you know, certain things like uh, like for example krishna teaches about yehi samsparsha ja bhoga dukha yo ne evate correct now although the teenage uh, thrills uh, but how it leads to perils uh, so uh, we can actually bring up uh, this uh, philosophy as well as some stories and everything and let them ask questions correct now so when uh, when we are uh, uh, presenting them and they they ask questions that means they become honest and the honesty is from the bottom of the heart huh? otherwise superficially every you know they hear some advanced spiritual things and they just clap hands and go and you think they are spiritual but they may not be you know they may be having another side which is unknown to us actually there are some parents who talk with children like adults huh? like they make the children ask questions they keep answering they keep so some children that is how some children grow up to be very great thinkers also uh, because they respect their questions they don't just uh, push them down so uh, question asking children and innovating children creative children they grow to be leaders also correct na that was my point her mother ji had a question where is she her anupam gopi mother ji had a question i think she had to go is it okay okay can read madhi i can read the question yeah yeah children are neglected if they are not um, uh, basically her question is when children go to college mm-hmm. 
they are neglected or they are sidelined mm. if they do not behave like the others in the college okay. so what should our children do yeah say for example uh, one of our girls goes from here to a uh, college and she sees that every girl has a boyfriend and if you don't have a boyfriend then the other girls tease you hey, you don't have any boyfriend we have boyfriend mm. so therefore the girl has to have the confidence that actually uh, life of character is superior than a life of no character huh? like like for example say uh, what is the consequence of uh, you can ask question for example those who are girls in the 10th 11th 12th you know with us uh, or even even in the age of 8 9 10 also huh? for girls you take a class and ask them you know what are the advantages of not going for having a boyfriend like that and what are the evils of connecting with the boyfriend so you can make groups and ask them to speak up like when when they think about it they think oh actually it is very pleasurable to have a boyfriend and to roam with but later on if the parents don't allow uh, if the parents don't allow them to marry you know later on then you have given your heart to somebody and now that person is taken away from you then you have to connect with a new person during marriage then what kind of life is that uh, so they will come up with themselves many ideas uh, think about it and also socially it may not be acceptable you may be from different religions you may be from different you may say i don't care for society you may say that really you know in certain societies they will kill the persons also uh, if they don't align socially they can even finish the person and we can tell them stories real stories it has happened like that and if you don't speak this you think that oh these are all dirty things we should not speak you know we will only talk past times of the lord in very advanced things then these things remain in their heart and then they they will be doing these things because they they will just copy others now i take one session for the engineering first year students living together what is the problem with that huh? and boys thrashed i mean they came out with so many good points i can tell you five points one of them said that uh, when we live in together you know and if you are dissatisfied with the partner in uh, six months we leave the partner huh? and you go to the second partner then third partner he said because we are changing partners there is no trust to be placed in anybody hmm? and tomorrow you know uh, you will not have anybody to consider as your own huh? but in married life in you know, a husband and wife are loyal to each other lifelong they live and the more they stay together and the more they respect one another a strong trust is built and you get support from each other that one point is another one when we live in together parents are unhappy with us both side parents will cut off and we won't get family support that is one of the boys said that and another thing one is changing multiple partners and indulging with them one may get deadly diseases also because one doesn't stick to one partner huh? so somebody said that and somebody said that you know uh, one uh, if one uh, lives with a girl for example he becomes attached to the girl but then the girl went away because he has attachment to her and she has gone away the broken love will shatter his personality hmm? that he cannot uh, be efficient in his work but if one has a wife to whom he is affectionate and attached if she stays with him lifelong she gives him energy to do his work properly correct now <laughs> like that boys only came up with they came almost like six seven points they came up with like this so now they are thinking now because they are thinking and understanding what are the problems in this that means the teenagers are never made to think about these things they only indulge in these things huh? but when you make them think then they understand my lord it is dangerous to go in that route then they will be getting the viveka buddhi correct right, no but the teacher who is making them think and speaking they should be able to defend very thoroughly otherwise teacher them not sure in those days i remember there was one girls voice group in that girls voice group the teacher told the students that you know all of you take one great heroine whom you are i mean one great personality and then you have to give a presentation so that leader mother ji thought that they will take like sita you know draupadi and such names and then they will present very nicely when the presentation started one said jansi rani lakshmi bai huh? somebody came up with then another person said indira gandhi huh? like that they came up with names and the teacher was shocked there huh? huh? is not of goodness bro <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> 
you know they took and they didn't take any shastri characters <laughs> so the uh, the idea is actually sometimes if the children get confidence that the senior is more open and we the senior will not ridicule us huh? the senior will not uh, pin us down or ridicule us or chastise us and they are ready to uh, be in a discussion mode then they open up more hmm? yeah in the same manner another thing i'll tell you when you go to the school somebody is asking see we are doing this nonsense why don't you also do then you can ask them okay i am doing 16 rounds what about you do you have the guts to have a japa mala huh? you hold a japa mala like me i can dance 16 rounds can you they can ask i get up at 4 o'clock in the morning or 5 o'clock in the morning can you get up so our children should be given the confidence that these activities which we are doing are very great and then other people are unable to do this and rising early in the morning and brahma muhurta it's such a auspicious thing and also it it is good for the health also sleeping early rising early and all these things so scientifically explain to them why spiritual life practice is ideal like i'll just show you one scientific thing one quickly see sound is not coming the film you are about to see, see? has no character light up light up see he's putting rice powder here if you see the spare a little of your imagination it is a film to describe to you the effect of cymatic frequencies on matter beautiful pattern song when they play the bass uh, guitar you saw how the sound came how they disturbed whereas they form good patterns when he plays bass guitar it agitates you can see there water that means you know the sounds you hear they are going to agitate the uh, system uh, biological system and that is why the singing of the holy name melodiously is very soothing thing for the mind whereas the agitating rock music is very disturbing so this kind of things you can show is very scientific thing it is scientific research any other question some other question to ah, you can you are, you have been running a school for so many years <laughs> so i have talked to some of these uh, the mic can be louder some of these boys who have gone to the college mm. what they need is uh, you know they have this feeling that i may be odd man out mm. if they get two or three it's called as fomo yeah so yeah. if they get two or three friends who are in the mode of goodness even if they are not devotees they have to find out such circle correct that you know gives them such a security ha uh, security correct and second thing that helps them a lot is one liner answers smart uh, answers right and there are only say 20 to 30 maximum frequently asked questions okay why don't you eat onion garlic mm. why don't you come to party correct you know why don't you dance why don't you have boyfriend girlfriend mm. you know there are just 20 30 questions if mm. you can get you know smart answers how to answer and train them in that Right. they lead a very confident life is it ah, amazing yeah, that's what yes. i found out. that's very good then you should prepare a kind of manual for them yeah they are going what the shik people have only these questions correct 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 yeah 
So they have this fear of missing out what others are doing. So they have to <clears throat> also gain confidence in this path, in the righteous path. See, what happens once you become 20, 25, 30 and all, you have seen the world to some degree and you know what is suffering. But the teenage is the age when you don't know what is suffering. Especially 13 to 19, people are living in a dream world. So the dream, while living in dream world for children to align with Shastra and Guru, it's only possible if they have good sanskaras and respect. You know, respect for a superior. The Gandhi was studying barrister in uh, London and he said, yeah, I promised to my parents, I won't drink, I won't smoke. He was sticking to that. Because of respect for the parents, respect for teachers, or affection for some superior, you know, or firm faith in God arising from some very pure sanskaras in the past. And because these are things which are necessary in the uh, teenage, but this one line is what you said is a good idea. We can prepare that. It's very good. Yeah. We can actually give them this kind of videos, which I said, so, or one line or answers also. Answers not from scripture because others so Correct, correct, correct. It has to be from the outside world. Yeah, like science. Ah, like science. That's true. Yeah, that's true. You can get those questions. It's very good. Very good book. Correct, that. correct. Yeah. That's nice. Yes, bro. We have a question. Comment. Give the mic to him. Approach, you were telling that we can give them answers. So, but the problem is that the children, when they grow up, they have the taste for material life. Correct. Because you can because you can give them answers, you know, but that basic, but they have that weakness of heart. Mm, correct. So because they also want, yeah. they also want to have like material life. Correct. So then by just telling them intellectually will not happen because they also want. Correct. That is true. So our Urmila uh, Mataji's article I sent you, you remember that? Is yes. uh, experience the best teacher? You got it, all of you. You know, you. I shared it once before. So this is the one. Other is born in, but not born. Yeah, correct. See this one. This is an article. You know, very very good question she has answered here. See, she says she is telling. Arjuna was told by Krishna that you know deliberate. Uh, uh, you know, Krishna said that. Huh? And then she is telling here that, uh, but even if a child isn't convinced by his spiritual experience, adults don't have to arrange for children to have taste of material life, she is telling. Even without intervention from parents or teachers, each child feels material life moment by moment. What child has no frustrations or disease? What child doesn't come across envy, anger or greed? if not in himself and in others. What child doesn't see aging and death, at least in animals and plants that surround him? Our children will also get experience, direct experience of bodily and mental pleasure. As distress comes, even uninvited, material happiness will also come. A crying adult will use a child's naturally occurring pain and pleasurable experience as a connection to help the child understand the scripture, she's saying. And then here one, one uh, uh, Dr. Howard is saying, you don't have to get hooked on cocaine to be aware of its devastation. And even many who are hooked don't understand the danger. So a better way to say is, properly evaluated experience is the best teacher, he's saying. Uh, which means when adults say that for our children to understand Maya, we must expose them to it. But they often mean they want to expose children to the illusions of illusion, she's telling. Huh? Uh, which means how the illusion is troublesome. Let them experience it first hand. So let her, let them go to movie, let them go to party, let them suffer. They think like that. But what she is saying, they suggest taking children to amusement parks or showing them television or engaging them in much of the frivolities of childhood. But children who get a taste for such illusions generally become illusioned. Not that they become realized sages by seeing that. The higher knowledge teacher tries to keep a child healthy, and there is a way to expose a child to disease in order to prevent disease, which is vaccination. Uh, the Vedic, Vedic scripture, you all know that when they made this corona medicine, the corona medicine also has corona, you know that, no? Yeah. Like this, that means like, you know, you can use milk to cure the diarrhea, correct? No? In the form of curd, like that. The Vedic scriptures offer a similar method for middle life in general. A vaccination introduces a disease in a form that isn't dangerous. 
Similarly, conditioned souls can safely deal with matter in a changed form. How? By using it in Krishna's service. So, children can listen to music, glorifying Krishna, eat food, offer to Krishna, watch plays and movies about Krishna, use the talents to serve Krishna, and possibly later marry and raise a family in Krishna's service. This is a way to dovetail material inclinations with spiritual knowledge to see both Maya and Krishna and choose Krishna. Hmm? When Maya is used in Krishna's service under the direction of a Guru, it ceases to work as a force of illusion. Rather, it acts spiritually to purify material desires. So, in this way, she is telling, still some adults insist that a child will learn best just through his or her own experiences, coming to Krishna consciousness naturally, just from experiencing material life, without any outside help. Uh, that's what Daksha Pajapati said. <laughs> In ancient time, Daksha said the same thing. Uh, so, and then she is telling that, um, so it's a very important article, I can send this to you. Uh, I will send it to Atranagarpu, you can forward it to everybody. It's a two-page article, that's all, but very thoughtfully written article. Actually, we will not give the spirit of mental enjoyment by engaging in mental enjoyment. We will not give up. We will become covered over in our intelligence. That's the whole point she's telling. And she says that if you are really keen to see that even if one should not become an aggressive parent pushing Krishna consciousness and give a bitter experience to the children. Rather, be kind, you know, be uh, caring and uh, help them to have uh, good health and also, like she's saying, that provide opportunities to become spiritual and if they don't accept it, it is their choice. Parents have to provide. In fact, many parents who are themselves very sincere and serious in practice, the children uh, are likely to pick up also. In many homes, it happens like that. Mm -hmm. But... The parents should tell the truth to the child. If you are going this wrong path, this path will not make you happy. Of course, good luck. You can try it yourself if you want. But this will not make you happy. You have to tell the truth. And then they will realize what parents are saying is true. And this is Vedic. Correct, no? This is Vedic. Now, in the modern time, people have changed a lot. Even in the Niskan, people say that, you know, let us also go to SL world, Disney world. You know, let us also watch TV. Let us also watch uh, cartoons. Bit to TV, but, but this article is totally different. Totally different. Actually, she is, uh, what she is saying, Mataji is saying here, is within the Krishna conscious fold, there are a lot of entertainments. Like in our temple also, we have a play area for children. What is the difference between this play area and going to any other park? What is the difference? Tell me. What is the difference? There you have always some spiritual vibration. Yeah. Yeah, when children go to play area, they will definitely see Vrinda Devi, they will definitely see the cows and feed something to cows, yeah? Kaliya and they see Kaliya Krishna and they see any devotee, Hare Krishna, they may say it's somebody. So, the, the play area in the temple looks like any other play area, but there's a difference in that. And then they may also go to temple, if somebody, come, one child comes and says, Hey, Darshan is open, there's beautiful kids and come, let's go. Then all children will go there. You know, they may take prasad in the temple. That's what she's telling that, give them, uh, up, like for example, we have youth programs where some of our boys play guitar. You know, guitar is not a regular thing we use in Harinam Sankirtan or something. <laughs> but for special occasions, like Pirana Daipa program, if a boy wants to play electric guitar, and other new boys are also very much happy with that, we may allow them. So here is an example of how he is dovetailing his talent in Krishna service like that, yeah. Similarly, a boy is a MC, master of ceremony in the college in some very big gathering. We request him, can you please come and do this for us here? He comes here, but when he comes into our fold, he takes prasad, he meets devotees, he develops respect for the devotees, we give him a copy of Bhagavad Gita, and then he may get connected. Tomorrow he becomes a devotee. The beauty is, many activities are apparently similar to outside world activities. When it happens in devotee fold, it, it has a Krishna conscious touch, that's what she's saying. Yeah. Now it's getting late. Late 40 now. You'll conclude now, but I'll, con I'll uh, continue this theme next time because I'm going to show you some slides on what kind of spiritual inputs can be given at a uh, uh, growing stage. Uh, what are the Gramya Buddhis at different levels? Uh, and how those Gramya Buddhis can be addressed 
to completely purify it to a point where the devotion becomes strengthened. Huh? So this we will talk in the next class. We will develop on it more. Huh? So I, 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 I feel that I couldn't give uh, sufficient time for all of you to discuss. Maybe you must have had many points. I feel Mukundanpur is thinking. Huh? What is that in your mind, Mukundanpur? Give the mic, mic to him. One thing I was thinking is what you said. We started showing children Krishna, you know, little Krishna, this, that, thinking that they will get attached to Krishna. Instead of that, they got attached to TV, <laughs> watching screen. So that's what I was thinking. One second, I was thinking is somebody who is a saffron devotee and somebody who is a counselor like us who has a substantial material life. So, what we see in case of Arjuna or Pandavas also, that Arjuna is called as Dhananjaya, who is capturing, you know, a lot of, acquiring a lot of wealth so that he can do the sacrifice, extent of going to demigod worship, you know, receiving Pashupatastra, this and that. So, there is a substantial endeavor put on improving, expanding material life. Hmm. And that eventually that material life is also utilized in Krishna service and that's how they are glorified. So in our case, in our case also, and in the case of children, if we do not expose them to the, you know, the, I mean, just like in, before we becoming devotee, we were all normal, abnormal, whatever normal we say. But you know, we have gone through that entire experience. Correct. Right. Uh, you know, the... <laughs> but about this, she has written a very good point. I didn't read that point. What she's saying, certain people can hear and learn. Certain people can see others suffering and learn. But if they get Krishna conscious inputs, then when they see the world around, they will see with Shastra Chakshu. And if you don't give that knowledge to them, then they are going to see the world like anybody else. That is her point. And also she says that some people hear and learn, some people see and learn, some people experience and learn. Some people don't learn even after experiencing. They keep on suffering more and more. There are different categories of people in that. So, uh, for example, you know, it's not that all of us learnt cigarette smoking is bad or liquor is bad after doing it. Some people have done it, but even without having done it, also people have learnt just by hearing about it. Correct? So, it varies from child to child there. But her point is, you educate them about what is right and then let them decide what they want to do. Because once the child becomes uh, 14, 15 and all, they go in the outside world, the parents have very little control. Very difficult to know exactly what are they doing, where are they going. You, know, you are not a super soul posted in their heart to watch. Huh? So you are in all good press, parents send them to different places. So the teenage is a character formation age. Huh? If they have taken good inputs, maybe they will do little mistake also. They will get some kicks and they will learn. Because they have heard the right thing. But if they never heard the right thing, they don't know what is right, what is wrong. Because on their own, for them to learn at that age or uh, in that age, it may be very challenging. But our training is very good. BBVA training and BMS training. And these are all very good. But I was telling that one more component we should add to that I was telling, especially for the grown-ups. You will find that as they go beyond 10th, they don't come. Generally, for the training and all. Because now, the exposure to outside world is increasing. So, when they are in 11th, 12th, one good reason is the excuse, maybe the study. You know, But it's not that just because they have studied, they don't do other things. <laughs> they do many other things. Correct or not? Uh, but if they, can, if they can get time for other things, there are people watching Bollywood movies, Netflix and all that. But why can't they have time for this? And if they want to have, they can have. But the taste reduces. Why? Because they tend to think that this is too spiritual only. Uh, so then uh, the phase of... Nee, nee, Prabhuji. Parents only think. Is it? Uh, uh. Not required they think? Nee, nee, parents also sometimes at times think that, you know, that it is too spiritual. Or, you know, our kids are becoming like Rishi Shringa. That is another extreme to be quoted. Ah, nee. Because they are not exposed to material life. They may fall... You know, Actually, they is... can be given opportunity to think about material life uh, with a spiritual discussion. Like, you know, technology, boon or bane, you conduct a debate, live in together, you know, or marry, keep debate, you know. Like, for example, lead a spiritual life or a material life. 
is youth meant for enlightenment or enjoyment let them debate make them debate and if a devotee is leading it then the devotee can actually bring a nice uh, uh, solution to them at the end but then the children also will get a chance to open up what what they are thinking and that kind of thing is more fruitful than keeping them in dark especially i am telling you after 10 11 12 in those standards i would include 9th also 9 10 11 12 12. last point to make actually the prabhu ji this congregation children they are at a weak spot hmm. like when we became devotee when we came to hostel what happened is those propensities were so wonderfully engaged because you know we were with equal devotees tulsi prabhu prajanand prabhu you know shankar pandit prabhu <laughs> all these equals were together hmm. so it was very enjoyable doing equally yeah. and all the propensities also were very nicely engaged, engaged yeah. like, you know you we began only with debates our i wife meeting <laughs> but what happens to grihastha you know the devotees children is that one thing there is a aspect of i know it all because they have since birth they have seen Correct. everything there is no newness yeah you know the like the boys who are excited to go to vrindavan or mayapur with a with a devotee child who has already gone maybe 10 times with <laughs> mayapur Correct. so there is no element of newness no. and at the same time because staying at home they also lack you know this uh, group dynamics so that is correct yeah yeah correct yeah what uh, and that's how they are different from the other people because they know a lot they have heard everything i mean they are, because they you name a story they know it it now it is the time for them to apply Yeah, yes, Madhuri, give the mic to her. Thank you very much for uh, bringing this concern. Mm. Uh, uh, actually, we uh, were helping somewhere in Vidyashram, mm. and uh, till uh, last year uh, we were really happy. But mm. uh, then, what we have uh, understood that kids need. Uh, at this age mm. like when they are in 8th standard 9th standard mm. they need brahmacharis especially boys mm. uh, to talk to uh, to uh, like they can express talk. themselves yes correct yeah and they listen to them more uh, respect they have a lot of respect yes yeah so i i saw it in america also many of the congregation kids they have a lot of respect when sadhus come they many of them actually ask daring questions also Yes, and when they meet one on one, they ask openly questions because they know that these people have given up all this in the world and everything they have come. So they have they are educated also. They ask, yeah, yeah. And uh, before NVCC opened, uh, there were so many programs happening around the Pune, and the kids used to be the part of the program. Mm. But since now we are staying in a community, what happens? Kids are in the garden many a times, mm. and parents are listening to the class. Mm. or kids are with their mobiles or something like that so uh, this is a they don't get the hearing up. yeah mm. so and uh, some where this one aspect i really feel that if you can uh, help us that if there is some program happening on weekends or there are holidays like in, now in summer hyderabad, camp hyderabad we have started one program which is weekly yeah and it goes on every sunday and this is a, attracts about uh, 15 children and uh, they are all congregation children mm. in hyderabad so i do once in a month and the other three weeks are done by other brahmacharis we do and they regularly come and in fact they came to pune also and these are all from one community called uh, leela nand prabhu community uh, gachiboli so he brought this concern he was telling us that children have grown up to teenage now and they are asking many questions yes. so it will be nice if some brahmacharis start something for them so yeah. we are four brahmacharis we are taking turns and we are doing for them there similarly in pune also those of children who are 9 10 11 you know 11 12th maybe they may be in tension i think yeah because of the competitive exam but 9 10 11 uh, 10th also they have board now or board there is no board in 10th still there is still there is board is it uh, yeah actually 8th is the stage eighth standard is stage when the logic of any opens they start yes. asking questions you know why i should do this you know why are you telling me to you know wake up in the morning and why so they ask oh, many whys will come so as soon as they start asking the question why then we can have training training can put them in training program some children can ask why even in seventh standard also <laughs> so seventh eighth ninth and eleventh we can keep i think probably yeah. if we can because our kids are uh, 
like uh, some many parents must be reading bhagavatam and mm. such stories at home also yeah. and naturally the kids have many questions correct but uh, over the period uh, what happens because of uh, academics or because the parents are taking such sessions they uh, lack the discipline uh, so if sir, uh, such program happen in the temple for such uh, like this just age like we are doing for all of you we could do for them also it will be very nice prabhu ji if brahmachari does it yeah. will be really uh, helpful yeah. so we can begin and see yeah. like mukundan po said mata ji some mata ji are like what you are you know like you are suggesting this you are appreciating it and some mata ji fear that if the boys become too serious in spiritual life they may not be materially ambitious they may also be that so what i would suggest is we create a poster and then we uh, fix the devotees who can give class and then we make an announcement and then whichever parents want to send them we can accept yeah it's a good idea it is so uh, now the Our summer is probably can help us with this uh-huh. yeah so now the summer is starting so taking advantage of the yeah correct uh, summer camp we can do one week or 10 days or two weeks also we yeah. can do very good idea it is yeah very nice idea so, they will have vacation now yes yeah, yes so children like in the margo batch that from uh like regarding this camp can they have like a residential camp in vella where one few parents will go and stay there ah. so that you know they will get some type of training correct, correct. later on if they want to go into yeah. voice or something like that oh very we are already planning for this camp because there is a getmost there okay ah uh, facility is there yeah correct 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 that's wonderful very wonderful if uh, if uh, pra- some of the fathers can come and stay with them it's a very good idea madhav seva prabhu is also very keen in uh, ah correct yeah. actually we we have very good devotees who will be very happy to do this in summer vacation is a very good time because the, if we don't engage them then there is a possibility of wrong engagements they have to get right engagements good idea it is good i think it's march now it's a time good time to think about it <laughs> good plan thank you madhav ji for bringing up thank you uh, prabhu ji just hmm. a uh, few things that i wanted to add to this is that when uh, parents are conducting like for example vidya ashram mm. boys have lost interest now mm. and uh, the vidya ashram for madhav batch has stopped practically okay. uh. the children are not going they are not finding the enthusiasm and interest to go and continue mm. i feel the children um they should get philosophy but they should get engagement because at this age they need to be engaged yes, if they have service then they'll be attached like as Perfect. young when we got service in the temple we correct. got completely attached correct. we were not interested in philosophy correct correct so we need engagement for our children That's just perfect. kirtan yeah. uh, yes. maybe some can do kirtan some can't but they need some sort seva. of engagement some seva uh, if correct. they are involved they feel accomplished yeah. and they want to be a part nowadays madhav seva prabhu is not available much here no Mm. Yes, other services are doing now. If he's told, he will take it up seriously. I will bring up this point to him. I'll do that, giving uh, services to them. And uh, uh, actually, he and our uh, Arjuna Shar Prabhu, they are developing some preaching in Kothra Road. I think. I mean, uh, Deccan, Deccan. I think they are busy with that. Chaitanya Prasad Prabhu, where is he? He's coming. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. I'll talk to these three devotees again. I'll talk to them. So. Ah, uh, that's true. Yeah. Yes. Bringing them together, having some specifically focused services for them, some engagement, very important. In America, there is one devotee called Krishna Daya Prabhu and his good wife. They are living in Bhakti Center near there. So they have come up with uh, six festivals in a year. Huh? Uh, so what are they doing in this festival each festival like i uh, one example i tell you generally pushya abhishek celebrate in january right now they celebrate in february so they bring all the newcomers and uh, put them in circles and make them take the flowers and make the petals and then they bring radha krishna deities and they have pushya abhishek festival and they also engage them in cooking cutting sabji cooking newcomers totally new huh? only the leading person is the initiated devotee so these people are cooking they are cleaning they are putting arranging the hall and everything and the lecture happens and abhishek happens and they make the flower petals and everything so this is one example i'm telling you like this they have six festivals in a year which means every two months these people get seva yeah and they also know which service they have to do so like one time they have julan yatra so they decorate the julan lot of devotees are involved in that so i i also think that 
in the modern times because they, they are getting a lot of wrong engagements we have to give them right engagements very important um, little philosophy and more services uh, would bring newcomers to a more stable state afterwards when the deep taste arises then they will read philosophy more i i agree with that yeah. i was telling the point good point thank you shri prabhupad ki